Okay, so the, this topic uh, is a part of Nest CS Advanced series, and in this topic, I am going to particularly talk about streaming files because there is always a sometimes soft requirement from the API side. Okay, when I I should be able to export the file in CSV, PDF, or I should be able to download this. So because when we are downloading a file, it's not the same as returning the JSON response. We have to stream the response so that browser can download that file. When you click on to that API, it is it is giving you the PDF, which is like a stream of data coming from the server. So browser will show at the downloaded options. When you click on some download movies, it gets downloaded, right? Because that HTTP link is giving you the stream. Similarly, uh, the REST APIs, which are well known for the JSON, how they should deal with the streaming of files like uploading downloading uploading file is simple uh, let's talk about both the things like uploading and the downloading the files so here what we are doing is let's say i want to download the file what i'm doing is simple controller i created a stream and file.pipe response so file.pipe response file is like a read stream and i'm just piping that stream to the response object right that's a simple way Otherwise, we can just use a streamable file class also there, which is provided by the nest JS. That's a simply way of doing it. So we can just use this here. What we are doing is get file. So if you try to read this, what we are returning, it's like we are not playing with the response object here, get file. So it's, it is returning a streamable file. Const file create read stream. We are creating a read stream from the input file source, which is there on the disk file and then return new streamable file now this file can be a big very big it should be able we should be able to deal with the streamable file right and uh, the default content type of streamable file is a octet stream right if you wanted to customize the response for the content type then you can just deal with that will be content type is for the pdf for the ppt for the docs file for the excel sheet for the csvs and all this can change accordingly. So this response dot set, you can customize the header response, something like this, because here response, we are just doing a pass through true. So we are not actually using the, all the features provided by the nest JS response. We are doing pass through true and it is returning a streamable file, but here we are actually customizing the response response dot set. So this pass through true is really important. If you are just wanted to customize the headers, then just use pass through true. Otherwise, if you are not you not passing this, then nest JS controller is expecting that you are using response object to return the response, the return the status code, return the data. But here we are not using response object here. We are just using the response to set the headers. Otherwise we are returning a streamable file. That's a big difference. Okay, and here we set the content type, attachment, and content disposition. Why this header is required? So that when you click on to it, you should be able to download the file. Browser, because content disposition is uh, disposition is actually a header which makes which uh, tell the browser, okay, download this as an attachment. So uh, when you click on any link or file, it actually download the PDF, CSV, whatever the file you are giving in the stream. Right. So this is how you can actually customize the header in two different ways, either using the response object or set this, use this header annotation, header decorators at the controller level and to set the custom headers like content type, content disposition, uh, lots of other options you can also enable to the API. Okay. So this is a simple download. So we will see how it really works with some example. So here we have, I have created a simple example download and I will also talk about upload. So download is simple. I'm just reading the package JSON and you can see this is the package JSON is coming and you can see the content type, content disposition, all the things which are being sent in the header. Right. And you can see when you click on to it, it's coming as a download for the browser also because content disposition is attachment. Now let's say I'm doing upload, upload file. Okay. And in upload file in the next CS, there are many ways to do upload. We can use this file interceptor. 
okay the file interceptor is provided by nest.js to intercept the the files which are coming in the request object and here uh, we are using just upload file this is upload file is actually a notation uh, upload file file name so that is coming uh, from the nest.js common I think if there is some typo use interceptor and I can use a file interceptor provided by nest.js common file name I think we don't need to pass the file name so there are two things upload file and upload files let's say I wanted to upload a file then I can just do uploading a single file or uploading a array of files which you are passing here so what we are expecting is we should be expecting that uh, there is a there is a file name coming in the request object I think you should be in the upper case uh, which I'm missing so this is uppercase upload files and then upload files if you are passing a multiple files then what is the input input type is a multer file express dot uh, I think that is express dot multer or uh, we need some type express dot multer dot file I think we need to add some typings for this multer so this is upload file upload files I think I'm doing simply some typing issues I can create a simple decorator so this decorator is upload files right so it is just give a this decorator is we are using for the swagger only that there is an array of files which I'm going to pass and you can expose the same on the swagger UI so upload files that is coming here I think it should be upload file that is coming from this decorator and this is upload files okay I just need to add uh, types multi type so this is resolved this is like custom decorator I have created at line 27 so that is important line 27 is just only for the swagger to give me the options to upload a file from the swagger docs and this upload files at line 30 is actually a custom annotation provided by nest.js so that we can intercept the files because at line 28 use interceptor file interceptor we need to extract the the file types which are coming uh, with the key name is a file name so file name is required when you are sending a request file name and the value should be of type file in the from the postman and that can be any kind of file right so upload file is files which you are sending as an array so you can send a single file multiple files all those things are possible so this is what I'm doing upload files and this is a multi part form data and here this prop key name will be the key name will be the file name and here you can just change the type to file choose file and render let's see if it works you can actually pass the multiple files because that is an array send 404 not found is it files upload okay it's a post upload files I'm expecting so I will start my application again Four oh four not found. Am I doing something wrong? API vehicles upload. So I'm just checking if the URL is correct. This is upload files. Okay, now it works right. So what was the issue is I was not using the correct annotation. So this is upload file. I mean uh, I'm just testing for a single file uh, and then here it is you can see when I am uploading a file I got this file object file object in the payload so this is upload files when you are passing a single file and here you can pass the multiple files also And here you choose the file and just send it unexpected field 
get request okay that is because here it is expecting only single file yeah for single file it works i think i'm doing a small mistake here if you wanted to upload a multiple files we can just uh, use the same annotation because here the decorator is using the file okay the type file name file so this is a simple implementation which talks about just uploading a single file right here upload files you can even skip this annotation uh, 29 this is a custom decorator i have created so that i can visualize okay where, what will happen is if you are uploading a multiple files from the swagger docs here we are doing just upload file and this file object is there now you do upload this file to the s3 blog whatever the file you want to do with the content of the file you can perform the operation okay so that's more about upload and download uh, using nsgs